What's up, Internet? Welcome back to another Top 5 video. This week's video is brought to us by the one and only Gary Voigt. Once again, this is actually a second suggestion that he's ever made. Um, this one is my Top 5 games that I never finished as a kid that I wish I would have, I guess. That's a little bit of my spin on it. Number 5. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And I know what you're thinking, like, really? really? Now, here's, here's my logic on this one. I absolutely loved this game as a kid. I played it with one of my friends who lived down the street from me quite a bit. But the thing with this game is, all we would ever do is try and jump cars over the river. And go on killing sprees, enter, and codes to get all the guns or maybe that was Grand Theft Auto 3 I kind of blur the lines on those two but I enjoyed the hell out of this I actually loved the soundtrack the whole hell of a lot the story on Grand Theft Auto games though I never really got to experience just because I never really got into them not that I think that's too much of a bad thing but I would have liked to have at least played through Grand Theft Auto Vice City because I still think it's probably the best entry we've ever had one game that I actually don't think a lot of people have finished, let me know in the comments below if you have, but that is Zombies Ain't My Neighbors for the Super Nintendo. Uh, I remember I was with my friend, I believe it was at Kmart when he purchased this game back in the day. We brought it home, we played the hell out of it. I don't think we ever really got past the pyramid levels. I'm trying to think like what's the farthest I've ever gotten. I played it with him, I played it with one of my friend's ex-girlfriends, we tried to get through that when we were hanging out at that friend's house. I played it on my own, but unless there are codes for this, I can't imagine getting through this entire game, it's just actually very, very difficult. And I would enjoy playing through this game completely, to the end, however many levels, I actually don't even know. Let me know in the comments below if you've finished Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It wouldn't be a top 5 video without me mentioning a Sui Koden game, right? Now, this one is actually the one that I wish I would have completed, because I think it's probably regarded as the best one. Sui Koden 2. And I've had this one since this one came out. Uh, we played the first Sui Koden game all the way through, probably in a matter of like 3 weekends. And this game I ended up having to play on my own. My friend had moved away. Uh, and I remember enjoying the story so much. I love this game so much. And then I got to the Bone Dragon. The fucking Bone Dragon. I could not get through it. And this actually probably started a trend with me for RPGs. Whenever I get to a point in an RPG where I lose to a boss once, twice, maybe not even three times and I'd be done, I would not go back to the game. I did that with Final Fantasy X. I got stuck on one of the, uh, fuck, what's his name, Seymour? Some asshole that casts zombie on you and then life and cheeses you the fuck out. But anyway... Sui Koden 2, I really wish I would have finished this game as a kid. Uh, I've watched some Let's Plays on it. I actually don't even think I finished the Let's Plays. Wow, I'm really not good at finishing games, even when I'm not playing them. Number 2, and this one's surprising, but it has a story to go with it. As a kid, I never finished Pokemon Blue. And this is the original copy I had from childhood. It has my original Pokemon on here. And the reason I never finished this game is because I was a dumb kid. I didn't want to put in any of the work. I basically only used Charizard. After I got through the first two gym battles, which are very difficult with Charizard, the rest of the game was kind of a breeze as long as I just kept using Charizard for every battle. That's until you get to the Elite Four. At that time, I couldn't beat them. Uh, I remember we did the rare candy cheat and it completely like fucked up my save file. 
in the sense that every Pokemon on here is like level 100, but they all suck. Um, except for Charizard, who still, I don't remember if he could beat the Elite Four, even with being level 100. You really do need a diverse team to get through these games. I really don't think, besides from speed running and using very specific things, you can actually get through these with just powering through with one Pokemon. I've never enjoyed that style ever since Pokemon Blue. Even as far as Pokemon Yellow and Silver and Gold, I definitely had a varied team. And I've pretty much, I think I've beaten every Pokemon game I've played since. Maybe not the Sapphire Ruby generation, just because I kind of fell out of that one. But that's being remade for the 3DS in this year, so I'm going to beat the shit out of those too. And the number one on my list, and I know I'm going to get blasted in the comments, especially by my friends. Um, I've never finished The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. And I actually have two different forms that I could have played. I had. The original back, when did I get this? I'm pretty sure I had this as a kid. And I remember as a kid, I could not even get past the first dungeon. Sad. I was, like, you've seen some of my Let's Play videos if you go back. I was doing some Let's Play Something videos a while ago. I'm pretty bad at games, so as a kid, I was even worse. So it's not hard to imagine. But this game, I own this as an as a kid adult. I was all of 16 working at Toy Works and I was able to purchase this. I probably got past the first dungeon. Probably. And never really got any further until a little bit later, uh, maybe a year or two ago, I did make another effort on this game to get through it. I got through like three of the eight dungeons or something like that. I basically stopped as soon as you got to the pool where you can upgrade items. I think that's where I left off. I'll probably go back to this and try and finish it off as an adult. But definitely the game that I regret not finishing as a kid. And that's going to do it for this week's top five. If you're new to the channel, please check out Weekend Adventure and Video Game Hunting. It airs every Saturday morning, Eastern Time, 7 a.m., right before your morning cartoons. But I think they killed the morning cartoons. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's been a while since I've been sitting around at home on a Saturday morning. If you have any suggestions for a top 5 video, please leave it in the comments below. And if I can do it, I'll let you know. If I can't, I'll also let you know. Please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, keep it real internet.